chromosomal disorders and what is the reason behind the chromosomal disorders and all that we'll do okay do today okay okay that is the chromosomal disorders okay the chromosomal disorders on the other hand are caused due to the absence or excess or abnormal arrangement of one or more chromosome okay one more chromosome that means either okay due to the absence or excess how this uh, absence or excess will occur means so for example okay that means uh, okay while uh, okay while we are discussing about uh, meiosis okay during ana phase 1 of meiosis 1 what happens uh, the homologous space okay that means the okay during a uh, prophase what happens the pairing of homologous chromosomes will occur and uh, okay and uh, okay and next okay recombination occurs followed by chiasmata formation okay and next followed by okay placing okay in okay in meta phase 1 all the chiasmata are placed at the equatorial plate and next followed by ana phase 1 in the ana phase 1 happen what happen the separation of a homologous means whatever the pairs they are presented as okay the chromosomes which are present in pairs okay that is in diploid cells in the form of pairs those paired chromosomes will get separated out of that pair one chromosome will reach to one end and the other chromosome will reach the other end that means for suppose if there are 23 pairs of chromosomes 20 okay out of this 23 pairs 23 will move to one end and 23 will move to the other end and this process of separation of homologous pairs of chromosomes during ana phase 1 of meiosis 1 we call it as a disjunction okay this okay the process of separation of homologous pairs of chromosomes during ana phase 1 of meiosis 1 we call it as a disjunction note down this one it is not mentioned but they are asking in the examination what is mean by disjunction or what is mean by non disjunction or what is okay what is the phenomenon which is involved in the separation of homologous chromosomes during ana phase that phenomenon we call it as the disjunction so here what happens means okay this disjunction will not occur properly okay this disjunction will not occur properly okay this disjunction will okay will okay will not occur properly okay sir john sir priyanga saminathan is in the lobby sir he is okay she she is joining as guest shall i hello her what's the name sir yes sir priyanga saminathan yes sir okay sir yes sir. okay so that means when you observe here so this is separation of homologous chromosome during the okay this is separation of homologous pairs of chromosome okay into haploid set of chromosomes this phenomenon we call it as disjunction so if the disjunction occurs properly okay the the diploid sets of chromosomes will be equally divided and uh, they will be transformed into complete haploid cells complete haploid cells understand but here what happening means this disjunction will not occur properly that means uh, if the non disjunction occurs that means if the separation of homologous chromosomes does not occur properly if the disjunction okay if the chromosomal disjunction does not occur properly during the ana phase 1 of meiosis 1 for suppose we can take okay 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 if you take uh, for suppose if the 
cell is having four chromosomes. For suppose if the cell is having four chromosomes, okay, if the cell is having four chromosomes, If there are four pairs of chromosomes are present in a cell, okay, in a diploid cell, we'll find four pairs of chromosomes. So, like this. Okay. Like this, four pairs of chromosomes are present in the, in the organism. Totally, there are four pairs of chromosomes. So, during distinction, what happens means, okay, the first, okay, for suppose these are the four chromosomes. These are the four pairs of chromosome. For suppose, if the distinction occurs properly, then what happens? Okay, these four will enter into one cell and the other four will enter into the another cell. Cell means here gamete because generally, okay, meiosis will occur during the gamete formation. As a result, the diploid gamete mother cells will be converted into haploid gametes. So during, a, okay, during a anaphase one of meiosis one, what happens? Okay, these uh, four pairs uh, will be transformed into four chromosomes when, when the disjunction occurs properly. For suppose if the non-disjunction occurs, that means if the separation of a homologous pairs of chromosome does not occur properly, that is what we call it as non-disjunction. For suppose if the disjunction, if the non-disjunction occurs with the second chromosome, if the non-disjunction occurs with the second chromosome, that means uh, the second chromosome is not separated properly. Okay, first chromosome has separated properly. Third chromosome has undergone separation properly. Fourth chromosome has undergone sep separation properly. But the second chromosome, the disjunction does not occur properly with the second chromosome. What happens? Okay, one cell will receive four plus one. One cell will receive. 4 plus 1 chromosome, that means uh, totally 5 chromosomes. Out of that, uh, the second chromosome will be paired. Okay, and the remaining are single. Okay, but the second chromosome will be paired. And at the same time, the other gamete will receive 4 minus 1. Okay, the, okay, the other gamete will receive 4 minus 1 chromosome. That means uh, it have only three chromosomes, whereas uh, the, okay, the gamete will have five chromosomes. One gamete is having uh, four, okay, five chromosomes, and the other gamete is having uh, three, ga okay, three chromosomes only. That means uh, the second chromosome here is uh, completely absent. But uh, in a uh, one, okay, in the first gamete. Uh, one, okay, the second chromosome is present as excess. And in the second gamete, okay, one chromosome is less. That's what he is saying. One, okay, either excess or less. Okay, that is uh, what we can see here. So, either absence or excess. Either absence or excess. That means in one gamete, second chromosome is absent. In one gamete, Second chromosome is present excess. <coughs> or normal arrangement of one or more chromosome. Abnormal arrangement means okay, a small fragment of chromosome of okay from one chromo okay, a small fragment of one of the chromosome will be separated 
and it will go and bind with uh, another chromosome okay that is uh, that is okay in that case also there is a change in the position of the genes and the arrangement of the genes and with that one also causes a change in the characters okay that is uh, that is called a uh, chromosomal aberrations okay those are called uh, chromosomal okay aberrations chromosomal aberrations are caused due to the okay misplacement of the chromosome change in the position of the chromosomes or chromosomal fragments okay that one also will result in change in the characters that one also will result in a change in the characters sir john sir vimaladitya lobby sir as guest suresh sir so we can see here so we can see here the okay that okay, so, okay due to the non disjunction of chromosome okay disjunction of chromosome during the ana phase 1 of meiosis 1 what happens some of the gametes are receiving one chromosome excess and some gametes are receiving one chromosome less okay now what happens means for suppose okay this is the condition suppose this is the okay gamete of ova okay that means it is a female it is a female okay now female the female gamete that is ova okay ova okay for example a ova which is in the ova the non disjunction has been occurred as a result what happened the one wo okay the ova has received one chromosome excess what is that chromosome second chromosome in excess now this ova okay will undergo fertilization with the, the okay fertilization with the sperm okay which is having a normal number of chromosomes per se four okay this is a sperm okay male sperm so the male okay the male has produced the sperm okay which is having normal number of chromosomes okay there is no problem with the disjunction of uh, during the sperm formation so the sperm will have all the four chromosomes but now what happened is okay a ova is in the production of ova the non disjunction occurred and this non disjunction occurred with the second chromosome now what happens these two will fuse okay these two will fuse as a result what happens okay actual what happens okay when these two fuse what is the number of chromosomes it should be it should be four pairs it should be four pairs okay it should be four pairs okay but uh, instead of four pairs uh, okay we are having uh, we, have, we have got uh, four pairs uh, plus uh, one okay four pairs plus one that means uh, when you observe the sec okay first okay first chromosome will be paired third chromosome will be paired will be paired in number and the fourth chromosome is also paired in number but uh, when it comes to okay but when it comes to the second chromosome the second chromosome is present in uh, three in number because uh, two is coming from ova 
and one is coming from sperm and all together we are getting three chromosomes of second chromosome okay such a phenomenon okay of a presence of a one chromosome in excess okay that means the four four pairs plus one so what actually it should be four pairs that means eight but here eight plus one total nine chromosomes are present in that organism so such a phenomenon we call it as a enuploidy so enuploidy it results in enuploidy enuploidy means either excess or a decrease in the number okay either excess or a decrease number of chromosomes in an organism okay we are calling it as enuploidy this enuploidy is of again two types okay this enuploidy is of again two types okay one is a trisomy and the second one is a monosomy trisomy a trisomy and the second one is a monosomy trisomy and a monosomy okay what is the trisomy means for example when you observe here okay here the ova with the one chromosome excess of second chromosome fused with the sperm with a normal number of chromosomes okay that is the four chromosomes as a result what happened the second chromosome is present in a three number okay this phenomenon of uh, presence of uh, three number of chromosomes okay instead of two chromosomes uh, we are calling it as a trisomy we are calling it as a trisomy understand okay at the same time if the ovum with uh, okay okay one chromosome less okay if the ovum with uh, one chromosome less okay during okay during non disjunction okay one ovum has received one chromosome excess and the other ovum okay some ova have not received that means that might have lost through polar body okay by the end of meiosis 1 by the end of uh, meiosis 1 will get uh, one uh, ova okay one okay secondary oocyte and one first polar body okay the first polar body has received one chromosome excess that is not uh, transformed into the ovum no only three oocyte now one chromosome is lost so one chromosome will be less in the okay secondary oocyte which will later develops into the ovum so that means uh, here the ovum is with uh, one chromosome okay here the ovum is with one chromosome less and that one will fuse this with a normal sperm okay okay that is so now okay the ovum chromosome less okay is fused with the sperm with the normal number of chromosomes now okay instead of four pairs of chromosomes instead of four pairs of pairs of chromosomes here what is what is present means okay here we'll find okay 8 minus 1 okay that is a four pairs minus one instead of four pairs okay here it will be four pairs minus minus one so it will be seven so instead of eight number of chromosomes we'll find only seven chromosomes and where that chromosome is re reduced the chromosome which is reduced is the second chromosome which is lost with another gamete that is formed during the meiosis so 
one chromosome is less so here only one of the two chromosomes is present of the second chromosome that's why this okay this uh, last chromosome okay is uh, represented by only one such a phenomenon we call it as monosomy this uh, trisomy and monosomy together we call it as a, okay this uh, trisomy and monosomy together are a, a type of enuploidy enuploidy means uh, enuploidy is the condition which is occurred due to the addition or a deletion of one chromosome okay one or okay one chromosome if uh, any okay that means if the non disjunction occurs then what happens some of the gametes will have one chromosome extra and uh, okay some gametes will have one chromosome less if such okay if the gamete with one chromosome excess fuses with the other gamete other opposite gamete with the normal number okay whatever the chromosome that is present in excess that chromosomes will be present in three number okay that is for example here we can say the second chromosome is present in excess when the no, okay when the gamete with normal number of chromosomes will fuse it okay it resulting in the formation of a three chromosomes of second chromosome such a phenomenon we are calling it as a trisomy in the same manner when the okay when that okay when the non disjunction occurs with the second chromosome and uh, okay and the gamete has lost to the chromosome okay and that gamete when it fuses with the other opposite gamete with the normal number okay when these two fuse then what happens whatever the chromosome that is lost that in that position only one okay out of the two only one chromosome is present so one chromosome is lost during the non disjunction so as only out of the two chromosomes only one chromosome is present that's why we are calling that phenomenon as a monosomy we are calling that phenomenon as a monosomy okay that is that is what we can see here so aneuploidy is the condition which is caused due to the addition or a deletion of a one chromosome okay if one chromosome is present in excess in gamete okay if that gamete fuses with the other gamete which is normal okay then what happens whatever the okay chromosome that is present in excess okay in the zygote we will find uh, one chrome okay one chromosome okay that okay that chromosome in three number okay such a phenomenon we are calling it as a trisomy and if uh, due to the loss of uh, the during the gamete formation that a uh, lost chromosome containing gamete uh, fuses with the normal gamete then what happens uh, okay the chromosome will be present uh, instead of pair uh, it will be present as single and such a phenomenon we are calling it as a monosomy and uh, both will uh, cause uh, resulting in a disease okay there is uh, here uh, only one or one chromosome is uh, lost but there are some conditions in which the total sets of the chromosomes are doubled that means uh, instead of okay the, okay the organism is uh, diploid instead of diploid it will become tetraploid or okay further more okay such if the total sets of chromosomes like okay triploid tetraploidy or pentaploidy like this hexaploidy like this the chromosome is doubling for every generation then such a phenomenon we are calling it as a polyploid okay such a phenomenon we are calling it as a polyploidy so okay such generally okay polyploidy is not observed in animals why because okay such embryos will not uh, survive in case of animals okay but in plants it is uh, possible okay we can obtain polyploid plants okay but we can't able to okay that means uh, the embryos of animals will not survive when they are uh, polyploid in condition that's why we don't find a polyploid arg okay animals but we can observe polyploid plants ploidy can be doubled okay that is what we can see here so failure of segregation of chromatids during cell division cycle results in the gain or loss of chromosomes called aneuploidy 
so if the segregation or if the separation of uh, homologous pairs of chromosome does not occur properly during the cell division or during cells okay it results in a gain or loss of chromosome this gain or loss of chromosomes we are calling it as aneuploidy okay there are some examples of this for example the down syndrome okay the down syndrome results in the gain of extra copy of chromosome 21 in human okay in human will observe a disease called down syndrome okay this down syndrome is observed in the persons in which they are having a trisomy of 21st chromosome so that means during the gamete formation okay the, during the gamete formation what happens the non disjunction occurred with the 21st chromosome as a result the gamete received okay two of the 21st chromosome as okay in one gamete okay instead of getting separated okay they didn't separated properly and both the 21st chromosomes have entered into one gamete and the other gamete did not received the 21st chromosome if that excess containing 20 okay the 21st a chromosome which is present in excess okay such a gamete when fuses with the other gamete which is normal okay which is having a, the 21st chromosome as one if these two fuse then what happens the 21st chromosome will be three in number two from one gamete and one from the other gamete overall there are three chromosomes of a 21st chromosome and this such a phenomenon okay will results in a condition called down syndrome in the same manner there is another disease called turner syndrome similarly turner syndrome results due to loss of an x chromosome in human females that means in the human females okay in the human females during the ova production okay during the ova production what happens the ovum has not received the x chromosome that means it has got only chromosome why we are saying uh, okay with the uh, ova only means because the sperms without allosomes cannot survive they will not be viable okay they cannot undergo fertilization that's why okay sperms will not result in a okay turner syndrome generally the females even though the ovum without x chromosome can survive and if that ovum without x chromosome fuses with the sperm with the x chromosome then the resultant organism will be female but female will be okay this female will be having one chromosome less or one x chromosome is absent so the number of total number of chromosomes will be 46 minus 1 that is 45 okay in the absence of x chromosome and that phenomenon we are calling it as a monogamy so that's what here yeah. similarly turner syndrome results due to the loss of an x chromosome in the human females failure of cytokinesis after telophase stage of cell division results in an increase in a whole set of chromosomes in an organism and this phenomenon is known as polyploidy this condition is often seen in plants okay but okay we can't okay will not see in case of animals the polyploidy condition is not okay observed in case of animals why it is not observed in animals why it is not observed in animals means okay because of the okay that means the okay the embryos with the polyploid condition in animals cannot survive okay but it is often observed in plant and the plants can survive even in polyploid condition okay there is okay why this polyploid condition observed means okay if it has undergone meiosis one but uh, failed to undergo cytokinesis as a result what happened the total cell will have all the two sets of chromosomes and if that fuses with the another gamete with the same number of uh, sets of chromosomes then it will be automatically the ploidy is increased okay if the if it is having only one set okay the the total okay the ploidy of the cell will be triploid of the zygote will be triploid if the gamete is also okay one gamete is a diploid and the other gamete is also diploid then if those two diploid gametes fuse and results in the formation of the zygote which is tetraploidy 
So such like that, the polyploid condition is seen. So, so here we can see the total number of chromosomes in the normal human cell is 46. That is, we say 23 pairs. Out of these, 22 pairs of chromosomes and one pair of chromosomes are sex chromosomes. That is, allosomes. Okay, 22 pairs are autosomes and the last pair or 23rd pair is the chromosomes which will determine the sex of the organism. And that's why they are called sex chromosomes or allosomes. Sometimes, though rarely, either an additional copy of a chromosome may be included in an individual or an individual may lack one of any one pair of chromosomes. So, that means, okay, either the chromosome number of that chromosome is increased or the chromosome number of that particular chromosome will be decreased by one. So, these situations are known as trisomy and monosomy of a chromosome. So if the chromosomes are three in number, if any one chromosome is present in three in number, not all the chromosomes, ma, whichever the chromosome that is present in excess, if that chromosome, okay, fused, or if that gamete fused with the normal gamete, with all the normal, all the chromosomes normally, then one chromosome will be present, whatever the chromosome that is present in excess, that chromosome will be three in number and that phenomenon we are calling it as a trisomy. Okay, and uh, okay, the other gamete will lost, will be lost uh, that uh, chromosome. In that condition, if that chromosome, okay, lost gamete, okay, if that gamete with the lost chromosome fuses with the normal gamete of the opposite uh, sex, then what happens? The, okay, the zygote is produced with the, uh, only one chromosome of that particular one. So, such a phenomenon we are calling it as a monosomy. Okay, such a situation leads to very serious consequences in the individual. Okay, generally, okay, mostly, okay, in most cases, the embryos uh, usually do not survive. Okay, in that condition, even if they survive, okay, they show certain complications or identical, okay, disorders. Okay. Such a, okay, that's what he's saying. So, such a situation leads to very serious consequences in the individual. Okay, some of the, okay, these the diseases of chromosomal disorders are uh, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, Clean Felter syndrome are some common examples of chromosomal disorders. Okay, of that we can, dis okay, we can see here the Down syndrome. Okay, the Down syndrome, the cause of this genetic disorder is the, uh, presence of an additional copy of the chromosome number 21. Okay, the cause of this genetic disorder is the presence of an additional copy of the chromosome number 21. That means the chromosome, okay, 21 will be three in number. So such a phenomenon, we are calling it as a trisomy of 21. So the Down syndrome is caused due to the trisomy of 21st chromosome. And this disorder was first described by Lang done down in the year 1866. So, okay, the symptoms of this uh, Down syndrome was uh, first explained by Lang done down. That's why under his name, okay, he was uh, given this uh, Down syndrome. He, okay, okay, in during the 1866, the affected individual is that means what are the symptoms of a person who is uh, suffering from Down syndrome means. Uh, the affected individual is a short stated. The affected individual is a short stated. Okay, with a small round head. With a small round head, furrowed tongue, and partially open mouth. So the head, okay, the person will not grow effectively. So he will be short stated. That means he will be dwarf. Okay, he will be looking dwarf. Okay, with a small round head. The head will be very smaller in size, like a constrictor, like a, okay, and it is round in shape. And next, a furrowed tongue. That means the tongue will have a furrow, and, and okay, the tongue will have a furrow, okay, will be having a furrow. That means a deep depression will be there, and a partially open mouth. Okay, the person, okay, is unable to close. That means unconsciously, okay, he will open the mouth. Okay, is unable to close the mouth properly. 
okay such a phenomenon we can observe with the down syndrome and next not only that the palm is broad that means the, the palm that means the hand which we will say okay the hand will be broad that means uh, a little bit broad with the characteristic uh, palm crease that means uh, regularly we will find some uh, sweat continuously some sweat like structure will be developed which, which keeps the okay the palm always uh, okay moist in condition that's why we are calling it as a palm crease and next uh, physical psychomotor and mental development is uh, retarded so physical that means the person will not show interest in physical work and psychomotor that means he is unable to okay take his own psychological decisions and uh, and mental development that means the okay okay he can okay he will show a little bit of physical growth but uh, mentally he will not be properly developed so mental development is retarded okay in the same manner we can observe the clean filter syndrome okay clean filter syndrome is also a disorder which is caused due to the trisomy of uh, allosomes okay not the autosome it is referred with uh, allosome so the genetic disorder is also caused due to the presence of an copy of uh, x chromosome resulting into a karyotype of 47 that means the total number of chromosomes in that human will be 46 plus 1 okay that is a 47 so what is that chromosome that is present in x means x chromosome so this okay the person will be having okay xxy that is a clean filter male such an individual has overall masculine development that means okay shows some feminine characters as well as male characters also some female characters and some male characters the female characters are like okay okay the male characters like okay that means they physically they appear like a female but uh, when the, when you observe the body the body will develop a musculature strong masculine body generally the males are having the strong masculine body when compared to females so that uh, strong masculine development will be observed however feminine development that is development of breast that is a gynecomastia so that means uh, okay male like a strong masculine body and female okay what are the female characters means development of breast okay this phenomenon we call it as a gynecomastia is also expressed such individuals are sterile okay they are sterile they are unable to produce the gametes and okay that's why they are said to be sterile okay in the same manner we can observe with the turner syndrome also turner syndrome turner syndrome is a good example for monosomy so, okay here monosomy already we said very clearly monosomy monosomy means one chromosome will be deleted whatever the chromosome but here the turner syndrome is caused due to the deletion of one of the x chromosome okay such a disorder is due to the absence of one of the x chromosome that means okay okay that means the okay one of the gamete uh, is produced uh, without x chromosome when it fuses with the other gamete uh, which is uh, having uh, x chromosome then it results in a uh, okay turner's females so they will be having instead of 46 chromosome they will be having 46 minus 1 that is a 45 chromosome okay 45 with x0 such females are sterile as ovaries are rudimentary besides other features including lack of other secondary secondary sexual character so such females with the turner syndrome are usually sterile why because due to the absence of the second x chromosome okay the okay the ovaries are not properly developed they will be in under developed condition such a phenomenon we call it as rudimentary such under developed organs we call it as rudimentary organs okay rudimentary besides other features including lack of other secondary sexual character so okay including lack of other secondary sexual characters so they do not develop secondary sexual characters as in case of a clean filter syndrome 
okay that is okay that is about this uh, chromosomal disorders 